Sand Castle. In the dark, deep, deep, deep ocean. Is there anyone brave enough to find out what is down there? Yes, there is. Adventure divers Chirp, Tweet, and Squawk are about to discover the greatest... Squawk, are you holding your breath? <laughs> Breathe, Squawk. It's okay. These helmets give us air underwater. <sighs> Whoa! I can breathe! And it sounds so cool! Ahem! Adventure divers Chirp, Tweet, and Squawk are about to discover the greatest, most amazing underwater thing anyone has ever seen! I hope it's a castle with mermaids! I think it's a boat that can go under the water. A submarine? But it wasn't a submarine. It was an underwater sand castle. <gasps> a sand castle! Can we go there, like inside there? They couldn't go there because the castle was protected by a humongous guard eel. Hold on, what's humongous? It means really, really, really big. All right, humongous guard eel. There it is, there it still is. There it still is some more. That eel is humongous. And it's protecting the castle. If we want to get inside, we have to get past that eel. Right, we should try to go straight for the... Wait, where's Squawk? Over here! Look at me! I'm riding a humongous eel. <laughs> you sure are. But Diver Squawk was in danger because it wasn't just any humongous guard eel. It was a humongous electric guard eel. Squawk, you have to get off that eel. What? You have to get Okay, don't freak out. You can have a turn. Hold on, I'll bring the eel to you. No! Come on! Ah! Oh, yes! Eel, you just me. Because it's an electric eel. Oh, then we should turn it off because it's not very nice. Eels can't turn off, Squawk. Their body makes electricity so they can zap if they feel scared or grumpy. You got lucky, Squawk. That was just a little zap. Uh, did you get zapped? No. Then you don't know how it felt, because that was a pretty big zap. But there was no time to argue about big zaps and little zaps, because the humongous electric guard eel had followed Diver Squawk and was about to zap everyone! Swim! Stuck, and the zappy, humongous electric eel was coming right for them. The gate's stuck. It's stuck. It's stuck. Let us in. We're gonna get zapped like crazy. Did you hear that? Is it the sound of me getting zapped? Oh no, because that sounds like. Ouch, 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 ouch. No, I think it's a. Uh... Had to send you this before I go puddle jumping with a kangaroo. Maybe inside there's a nice eel that won't zap so we can ride it whenever we want. There's only one way to find out. Help me bring it inside. <laughs> Electric eel countdown. One zap. <laughs> Two zaps. <laughs> Three zaps. <laughs> Oh, 
hey, Chirp. Hi, Tweet. Hi, Squawk. Hi, Spark. Electrified dog. What are you doing? Lost the bone. Again. What's up with you? Grandma sent us these. Yeah, they're really fun to ride on. But what are they? <sighs> Looks like you've got yourself some spoons. Want to see a cool trick? Ta-da! Whoa! Spoons! Let me try. Nice balancing, Squawk. But that's not all it can do. Wait here. Spoons are super handy. You can scoop anything. Like ice cream. Or food. Or sand, Chirp. Cool. Yep. Nope, that's a bone. Bone again. Bone. Ah, oh, here it is. With two spoons together, you can grab things you don't want to touch. Like electric eels? Well, I wouldn't touch an electric eel even with a hundred spoons. Unless you had a electric eel shield. It wouldn't make a very good eel shield squawk, but it can make music. If you clap two spoons together, cha-cha hey. <gasps> I remember where I put my bone. <laughs> Bye, Sparky. Bye, Spark. Good luck finding your bone. All right. Are you ready to go back to playing adventure divers? Yes. We've got to get past that humongous electric eel and into the castle. Let's zap our way to the playhouse. I wonder what the Bull Brothers will invent. Sandcastle is crumbling! And the electric eel 